Emoji guy says on Instagram, you ask for advice for first timers in all hostel stayers. And I did answer with a list. I'm curious to hear your advice, especially for hostels in New Zealand. Cool. So yeah, we may share about 10 tips with you about the first time staying in a hostel and uh, yeah, we'll go over over all of that. So staying in a hostel is a really good way to save money when traveling in New Zealand. It's a good way to also find people to travel with when traveling around New Zealand if you travel solo. So I'm going to get started with the first tip that I have to say is that hostel is not just for people that want to stay in a bunk room. There are really good options in hostels to stay in private rooms, even with your own end suite bathroom, meaning that you don't even have to share the bathroom and it still can be cheaper than a lot of hotels but on top of that it helps you save a lot of money because you have access to a full kitchen so you can get the advantages of pretty much everything so you do not have to stay in a bunk room if you want to stay in a hostel that's my first tip yeah i would say um when it comes to storing food there are communal kitchens in hostels that means there's also communal fridges but to make sure that you don't you know lose your food or someone takes your food or you end up accidentally taking someone else's food then typically in new zealand and um, people usually get a bag or, or um, a cooler bag or something or even a box and they write uh, there's usually labels available for you to write your name and what checking out um usually yeah it's best to just keep all your food together in the same bag or box and make sure that you label it correctly and that way the food is all sorted and you know where your food is and you don't end up get getting stolen or chucked out by staff because also if you don't label it correctly and it looks like that um you haven't put the date on properly for instance then the staff might think you've already checked out and they'll check out your food as well check out your food they'll get rid of your food or they'll put it into like the free food section usually there's like a free free stuff or free food shelf so um yeah that's about food all right so the next thing about the hostel is that it's a as i mentioned during the introduction it's a great way to meet other travelers so um if you are traveling alone in new zealand and you feel like you want to spend some time with international travelers with random people that are traveling as well and meet some friends from all around the world which is fantastic i've done that for years and i love it um, it's a great way to it's a great way to meet people. So don't be shy. Spend some time in the kitchen. This is kind of like the most communal place. There is also yeah. obviously some communal, uh, you know, like lounges, eateries, and lounges, and everything like that. But you know, hang out by the kitchen. This is where conversation usually sparks and happen. And um, and yeah, borrow some salt from someone. And usually the conversation starts from an accent. Say, oh, where's your accent from? Or this and that. And it's a great way to actually meet uh, meet some some people. So a good way also, also to to find some people to do an activity with is to tell people, hey, tomorrow I'm going to do well watching and we're in Kaikoura, anyone wants to join me? And, um, you know, you get some people to come and do the activity with you. And at the end of the day, you usually all have a meal together and everything. It's a great way to make a solo trip in New Zealand a social trip as well. And I really love that about hostels. So that's tip number three. Okay, uh, tip number four would be, um it would be about laundry. So um, another thing that uh, hostels have are communal laundry rooms where there's lots of um, dryers, there's lots of washing machines. Um, so one thing to note is that you don't. You usually it's not good etiquette to wash your stuff in the. Uh, in the washing machine and then dry it by hanging up your clothes in your oh, room yeah. and stuff uh yeah basically if, if there are um if there are washing lines outside of the hostel then you can by all means use those but usually people actually tumble dry their clothes to get it dry rather than hanging them up everywhere um, and on a second note if you do find a hostel with really good washing machines then actually go use them um even if you're not quite ready to do your laundry yet because most washing machines in hostels around new zealand aren't the best they're a little bit old and you'll find that when you're tumble drying your clothes they're probably not going to dry unless you have quite a light load so um you know once you do find that hostel with the perfect washing machine and the perfect tumble dryer then uh use it take up the opportunity to use it because that's quite a rare occurrence okay so the next tip that i'm gonna have uh, for you guys is that you want to be mindful if you stay in a dorm. You don't have to stay in a dorm, as I mentioned very early on. And a lot of couples, when they travel around New Zealand, choose to stay in a hostel but not in a dorm. 
But if you do stay in a dorm, just be mindful of other other people. So if you're leaving the next morning and you're leaving quite early because you're catching a flight or a bus or anything like that, just pack everything the night before. Have everything at the ready so you can do the minimal amount of noises. Um, if you are planning to do an activity on the next day and you're leaving quite early, you know, I usually have my clothes for the next day kind of prepared so I can just grab that and, and you know, change myself quite quickly. So, yeah, just, just be mindful of other people. It's the same thing like turning off your phone, uh, you know, on silent mode at night, just those kind mm. of things. Being mindful of people is quite important. Yeah, just an extra few tips on being mindful of other people as well. When you are in your dorm, make sure that you be, you're tidy so you don't have all your stuff scattered all over the place usually people just keep all their stuff either you know on the bed that they've decided to take um or you know just still in their backpack or in their suitcase just don't throw things all over the place also wear clothes <laughs> the, you know some people like to sleep in the nude some people like to sleep I'm in just their, fresh, okay <laughs> like to sleep in their underwear and stuff but you are sharing a room with other people and you know but other people might feel uncomfortable if you know strip down when you are walking around the dorm or going to sleep or whatever so yeah just just wear some clothes pack some pjs if you are staying in some door in a dorm and yeah that's another thing uh okay so on the next tip that i want to talk about right here i want to you know i really want to share something about uh, life in hostels right so in a hostel you cannot have two different type of travelers maybe three four but it's you know we do have some article on nz pocket guy where we share like the the, the type of travelers you're always going to find but the main difference is that you do have long-termers in hostel and you have people that just pass by so long-termers are people which are you know let's say working in the in the area or even working in that hostel and they're going to be staying here for like two three four months and then you have people that just pass by and you know you just travel around you stay two nights and then you move on or even just one night right so just know that at some point if you decide to become a long-termer let's say you are in a town that you really enjoy you're going to find a job it is highly likely that you will be moved to a dorm or to a section of the hostel where there is more long-termers so you have to make sure that you are um you understand what is your place um you know in kind of that hostel and you know that you know you're going to be living in kind of a different pace you know the long termers they usually kind of eat together drink together party together those kind of you know it's kind of like it's kind of a group and and the travelers are usually much more like fleeting and going you know going around and everything so you'll have more chance to actually do things with the travelers rather than with the long-termers which are just kind of here they've done all the stuff around and it's kind of like you know they just like to do their own little thing and usually it's more like the party kind of style yeah all right moving on to i think that's our last tip now laura uh yeah the last tip which you'll actually be reminded of profusely when you go and stay in a hostel is to do your dishes <laughs> there are signs everywhere in every hostel we've ever been to in new zealand where there's big signs above the sink saying do your dishes because it is a communal kitchen yep. so when you do make although there are plenty of um you know crockery and utensils and pots and pans available usually you have like all that stuff available to you except except knives are always blunt um but yeah you have all that available to you but when you use it after you use it wash it straight away put it and dry it and put it back where you know usually where it's meant to be stacked um that's usually the bane of any hostel owner's life and any any person actually staying in a hostel because it's kind of grimy to go into a hostel which is yeah you know, you don't know there's dishes everywhere and you actually have to do the dishes of someone else in order to use that pan because they didn't do it. It's always really annoying. So don't be that guy. Make sure you do your dishes. So yeah, so hostels are a great alternative accommodation in New Zealand. We actually think it's one of our favorite ways to travel around just because of this communal spirit. I know that we talked a lot about like rules or unspoken rules and everything, but it shouldn't be a daunting experience. No. It's a great thing to do when traveling around New Zealand. If you want more tips to um, to live in hostel or even to travel in New Zealand, you can head out to nzpocketguide.com. It is the largest travel guide to New Zealand, but if you click on accommodation, then hostels, there is a tab that says hostel tips. And there's plenty of articles right here just to help you understand what is life in hostel and how it is to travel around New Zealand in hostels. So that may be a great starting point if you are looking into backpacking around New Zealand or if you're just looking into saving on accommodation and having an, an opportunity to save heaps on food as well because you get to make your own food in hostel, which mm. I love. Mm. All right. Uh, obviously, if you find this video useful, make sure to like and subscribe because YouTube tells us to tell you to do that. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the live chat. <laughs>